guys. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this hump day afternoon. Now, I know I said this week I wasn't really going to do any videos of me working out. It was just more recovery week. Uh, I've been kind of under the weather the last few days. and uh, But uh, today's a little different, and I just this just happened. I just found this news out. And I just wanted to share it with people because this is reality of the world. And uh, a lot of things you see online are not reality, and a lot of a lot of us don't live in reality sometimes. So, as a lot of you know, I'm a school bus driver, and uh, you know we got to get on the kids a lot, and sometimes they get on our nerves, and sometimes we don't like them all. But my my whole thing is I love all my kids on my bus, and uh, I'm going to protect them as best I can. Uh, while they're on my bus and uh, I love I love all my kids and I let them know that periodically they look at me like I'm a little weird but uh, kids need to be no uh, kids need to be told uh, that the people care about them especially in this day and age uh, as a bus driver you see a lot of uh, not so good uh, lifestyles and homes and different things that some of these kids live in so anyway this is kind of a long segue into some extremely sad news that I got today uh, I was letting a boy off the bus this afternoon and before he got off the bus he's like oh yeah and he gave me some news uh, a girl that rode my bus for three years she rode I guess maybe three years I think this is the first year she hadn't rode uh, they moved away uh, to another uh, another town in Tennessee, not too not too bad far away, but a little ways. Uh, but anyway, he's like, yeah, uh, she got killed, and that just floored the absolute crap out of me, broke my heart. Uh, is everything I could do to not just kind of swell up and pop out some tears there, uh, right in front of my kids, you know, in front of the, <laughs> the rest of the kids that were on the bus. But uh, evidently she was in an accident, in an ATV accident, supposedly from what he said, and uh, I guess broke her neck or something, and uh, she was a young girl, I think she just went to ninth grade, and uh, man, that is, that's just heartbreaking. That right there, you know, that, that hits home, guys, you know, when you're around these kids every day like that you know even if they get on your nerves they still kinda you know they become your kids kinda so um, very heartbreaking news and I instantly as soon as I got home off my afternoon bus ride I ran in here went to Facebook and did a little research and found uh, where she you know it was true she was she'd gotten killed and, uh, luckily her school that she's in that she moved to, uh, luckily they posted something on their website, on their uh, Facebook page, and uh, and I posted on there and let them know how much I loved her and I cared, and my heart's broken for her and her family. She has two younger sisters, at least two younger sisters. They all they all three rode my bus, and uh, I just I wanted to make sure that they let them know at the funeral uh, uh, that, you know, we're thinking about them, and sure, sorry, you know, what happened and uh, there's only so much you can say in those in those moments so man what a what some horrible news right there not even old enough to have started her life yet you know just in that young teenage phase so much to go through and experience in life and uh, cut short by an accident you know that stuff happens every day uh, I should have been dead a hundred times <laughs> from all the accidents I've had on ATVs and my motorcycle and everything that I've been through and somehow I'm still here. And then you got people like this that just a freak little accident and they're gone. So anyway guys, uh, I just, you know, I kind of wanted to bring a little bit of reality to the, to the channel here and uh, yeah. So... 
anyway, uh, I'm going to show just a, a couple sets of my workout. We're going to be doing some deadlifts and some barbell shoulder presses. Again, I'm going just lightweight this week, and I'll, I'm just going to show a couple of sets, and that I promise. So stick around for those two quick little sets I'm going to show, and uh, hope you enjoy the video. And please just send a, you know, a heartfelt, you know, word of encouragement to these people. You know, if if anyone happens to see this video from that family, just let them know you're thinking about them. So anyway, guys, let's get the workout going and uh, get this over. Well guys, just like that, we're done uh, with the quick little workout there I wanted to show you. Just two clips. Uh, just maxed out on the deadlift at 315. Maxed out on the shoulder press at 135. No big deal. But again, we're just taking it light this week. So, uh, short, quick video. And uh, I just want to make sure that uh, I dedicate this video to uh, Madison, uh, Maddie. I'm not going to give the last name. Uh, and uh, her family dedicated to all of them and uh, I'm so sorry for what happened and uh, uh, from what I've seen of her what I got to know of her over the past you know, over those two or three years you know she she was a, a good girl and your typical girl and uh, I, I believe she had a, a pretty fun life up until uh, her unfortunate uh, quick passing in life so uh, anyway guys uh, live every day like it's your last day because you never know what's going to happen uh, and uh, we know this even before incidences like this happen that uh, we just don't know what's going to happen day to day so uh, anyway guys if uh, you enjoy the video maybe like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down it's me, Michael, your kind of sad today host. And uh, don't forget also to get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and seize the day, guys. Have a good day. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.